The defense in the David Dooley retrial tried to score some points for its case with a detective from the Boone County Sheriff's Office. That detective collected much of the evidence and processed some of it after Michelle Mockby was killed. Anjanette Levy joins us live from the Boone County Courthouse with a look at what the jury saw and heard today. Anjanette. Well, Rob, they heard and saw a lot. They saw everything from David Dooley's clothing to the items taken from the warehouse. Detective Brian Cochran was on the stand for much of the day talking about all of it. Detective Brian Cochran opened bag after bag of evidence collected from Thermo Fisher Scientific the day of Michelle Mockby's murder. He showed the jurors the Applebee's bag Mockby carried into work that morning. There were a large amount of items within the Applebee's bag. Uh, lots of paperwork, bills, things of that nature. Um, I remember there being newspapers. Cochran tested that bag but didn't find fingerprints. But the time cards he collected had some prints on them, and they belonged to the people they were assigned to, not David Dooley. Jurors also saw a screwdriver found in Dooley's janitor's closet. The Commonwealth says he used it to break into Mockby's office. There was no evidence that any sort of bleach was used on the second floor of that office area, true. Um, that is correct. But the Commonwealth says Dooley cleaned up after the murder. Cochran said bleach was found in a sink used by Dooley. Is there any question in your mind that bleach was used in the janitor's closet? No, not at all. Due to the reaction that we had with the Blue Star as well as the strong odor of bleach. Can bleach be used to clean up blood? Um, it can and it kills DNA. More importantly, jurors also saw photos of David Dooley. Detectives took nude that did not show any injuries from a struggle. Dooley's attorneys say he was singled out from the very beginning, a point the Commonwealth disputes. Are you aware of whether or not the other employees of Thermal Fisher Scientific were visually inspected? Um, yes, Detective Rosing, as he went through with the employees, he took uh, pictures of their shoe wear, uh, some fingerprints, and I believe he did some bugles as well. Now, the Commonwealth today stuck with that theme that whomever killed Michelle Mockby had to have left the plant that day because they would have been covered with blood. David Dooley left that morning for about 30 minutes. He said to go home to check on his wife, who he, what he said was ill. Testimony resumes tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., and we'll be here and have it covered for you. Reporting live from the Boone County Courthouse, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. And Jeanette, thanks very much. The defense asked the sheriff's office to re-examine Michelle Mockby's blouse looking for prints. Attorney Jeff Lawson said something that looked like a handprint was found, but Detective Cochran said he couldn't say whether it was a handprint or not.